Today's candle, uh, in past and present ministers uh, within our church, Lily Beth, I don't know if you knew this or not, uh, has uh, an online ministry called Jesus Christ Love and Care Ministries on YouTube that has over 10,000 followers. Wow. To weekly, uh, she shares the Word of God. She posts our sermons uh, and, and services. And uh, uh, sometimes when we have maybe 130 or 150 in attendance here, uh, on YouTube, uh, we have a better showing. <laughs> sometimes we'll have thousands to view our service on YouTube. Amen. 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 Isn't that wonderful? And so welcome to Zimbabwe. Verse 
verse 27 to 41. O Jacob and Israel, why do you say, my way is hidden from the Lord? My God, my God does not think about my cause. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The God who lives forever is the Lord, the one who made the ends of the earth. He will not become weak or tired. His understanding is too great for us to become to know, begin to know. He gives strength to the weak, and he gives power to him who has little strength. Even very young men get tired and become weak, and strong young men trip and fall. But they who wait upon the Lord will get new strength. They will rise up with wings like eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not become weak. Today is the first Sunday of Advent. Today we light the candle, candle of hope. Advent is a time of waiting and hoping. We wait for the day when we celebrate again the birth of Jesus. We hope that everyone will come to God and worship God. Advent is also a time to think about what it's meant to celebrate Jesus and to follow Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus loves us and shows us the way out of darkness. Jesus shows us the way to live. We have many lights around the, us at Christmas time to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. When you look at the first candle, When you look at the first candle, we remember God's promise. God's promise to send us a savior to the people. When we listen to our scripture reading, we learn what the prophet Isaiah wrote about God. God fulfills the promises made to care for people. God is loving and is just. God brings peace. This gives us hope. We look forward to the time when everything is made light, right, when the world is at peace and all nations worship the ones true God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, there are so many people in our neighborhoods, in our church, and in our community who need to know of your hope and love. Thank you for the words found in our Bible that help us remember your love and care. Help us to see how we can bring your message of hope to the people we meet in our schools, at our jobs, and in our neighborhoods. Help us be messengers of your love for everyone. Help us to see your light that shines in us and help us to see your love for the world. Help us to love others the way you loved him. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus.
you remain standing and let us uh, together confess our faith as we uh, profess uh, that we are one people of one God and one Holy Spirit and one Lord of all. Amen. 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 I believe in God, God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. And the third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From his shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You know, all uh -huh. of rum in his hand. Ah, maybe. <laughs> I, I just have that image. You know? Oh, my. Yeah, Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I told him that. I don't know. He wasn't that amused, I don't think. <laughs> he got rum, rum cake. I gave him, yes. Miss Emma Tucker made me a rum cake, and I want you to know that he got some. I think she said, I'll make him one. I said, yeah, you certainly will. <laughs> and I'm going to get some of it. Yeah. <laughs> no, we shared that cake, and it was absolutely divine. Thank you so much. The greatest gift. Uh, and, and so Thanksgiving Day, uh, what a wonderful day. Uh, Friday morning, I received a call, Lee Friday morning, uh, from... Joyce Lewis, and she said, Pastor, if you could come to our home, my home, I don't think Ken's going to be with us much longer. Mm -hmm. Went and met them. Ken was uh, awake. He, he was somewhat, uh, uh, well, he, he had some awareness about him. He knew that I was there. And we prayed, and we prayed that God would have mercy. And the Lord did that evening. We took him home. He would continue to pray for Ken. I mean, for uh, Joyce and the family. Uh, my understanding is that Kim will be cremated and the family is coming together somewhere around March. I think March the 13th uh, to have that uh, celebration. That's the only time they could all get together. Um, and so if you would, reach out to Joyce. Um, and she's gone through a lot. She lived, she's living by herself, as many of you are. So you know what that that the loneliness one feels uh, in an empty home. Uh, so if you would reach out to her. Jim Bird is still in Baptist Hospital. I spoke with Marjorie yesterday. Uh, and uh, uh, it is, things also, also are not looking well for Jim. If you would continue to pray for him uh, and uh, for God's mercy upon him, his life as well. 
Uh, any other prayer requests at this time? Yes, ma'am. Yes, my son. My son just got out of the uh, hospital. Your son, his name is? Uh, Wayne. 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 Okay. And also my sister's son and his daughter, Christian. Okay. Your sister's son and daughter, Christian. Okay. Yes, Chuck. Uh, Carol, where's our son, Wes? He's flying in Thursday from uh, Snowdale, Washington. Okay. He's flying in several years. He's been on the Good. Thanksgiving. We're going to celebrate that over the 10th. Wonderful. Wonderful. Prayer uh, for traveling mercy and safety for Chuck's son, Wes. Yes. Okay. Did you say Joni? Joni. Joni and Levi. Yes. 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 Um, they just put out their bus on the day and they need our prayers. <laughs> we will pray for them. Others. Yes, yes. sure. Um, I'm not saying 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 in law, uh, sees a doctor <coughs> Thursday to see what other surgery that may have to uh, have. Bill? Uh, Bill Brown. Uh, Continue uh, to pray for Bill Brown. Okay, okay. Certainly with Nancy. Uh, my neighbor Bobby, she was going out uh, with her children and uh, she looked back and didn't realize her dog had uh, dug a hole. <laughs> She hit the hole and broke both oh of her feet. Oh, oh no. So please keep her in your prayers. Uh, she's got That's her your neighbor. <coughs> yeah, she <coughs> certainly will pray for her. Both feet broke. Chuck, and then over here. Uh, Wednesday, Connie goes to an eye doctor. This time, he has a black home and both eyes. Black home. Okay, we're praying for Connie, uh, Chuck's uh, wife. Uh, uh, sees a doctor for glaucoma. You need to lift that up to the Lord. Yes, Jesse, in the, in the back. 47 years ago, Jeffy Love got born again. Thank you. Sunday after Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. And you know what? That same Jesus that saved me back then, he's been with me every day for all those years. All those times, he put it in my heart to proclaim the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And, and you know, uh, I love all of you, but, but Today, Lord, from my heart, if you don't know you're born again, chances are you're not born again. Because I'll tell you what, when he changed me, when he saved me, he changed my life. Amen. I mean, I'm going this way, and then that very day, that instant, I was changed. I was a new person, and, and he wants to touch our lives. Amen. 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 Yes, ma'am. Carol Lee. And breathe, yes. Yes, Miss Mary. Pray for Master Chief Vernon Ard. I ask you if you would keep him in our prayers. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my sister-in-law fell at the airport in Atlanta and broke her nose, and her face was swollen and she had to have a bad sinus infection, and then she got RSV. Oh, goodness. That's your sister-in-law and brother. Sister-in-law fell, had some injuries, and now she's got sinus and RSV. All that's going around. Yeah, bless her heart. Good. Awesome. Good, good for them. If you would, continue to pray for Angie. Again, she's out and I hope she'll be back soon. Uh, Thursday was a good day, Thanksgiving day, and she was more active than she has been in a week and a half, and she paid for it Friday. Uh, but uh, if you would continue, she's still having sweats and fever, uh, massive uh, hacking, coughing, uh, bronchitis, and uh, yeah, I mean, usually, uh, th those who know usually know it takes it usually her about three weeks, sometimes longer, to get over it. But it stays 
with her a while. Uh, so if you would, let us go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, but yes. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll include that in the wife, in the prayer of my wife. And so, yeah, look, so I, I, we're, we're praying for the same thing. Good. Yes, sir. For Glenn? For Glenn, your son. Okay, we'll do. Yeah, and then some, we even have prayer requests being phoned in. <laughs> so. Who is that? Was that a prayer? We're, we're praying. Praise the Lord. Charlie, go handle that for us, Charlie. If you will. Tell them Jesus loves them. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. <laughs> Father, we're so thankful that we are a people who have a God who's attentive to our cry. Psalmist. And many doxologies offer up praises and thanksgiving that in the day of trouble, God would set our feet upon a rock. And that rock's name is Jesus Christ. <coughs> Lord, we know that you are able. We know that you are capable. And the scripture reminds us that your arm is not too short, that it can't reach down to heaven and touch our lives. So, Lord, as we've lifted up so many concerns to you this morning, and many we haven't even named that are in our hearts, we know, God, that you're able, that you're capable, that your grace is sufficient. Yes, Lord. We pray, Lord, in all things that your will be done. Amen. We pray for healing, for coughs and colds and sinus problems. And yes. We pray for your comfort for those Amen. who experience loss and death. So Lord, we pray for those who Hallelujah. need to know and hear the message of hope. Jesus. Lord, we love you. Thank you for loving yes, us Lord. and meeting our need today. For we ask these things in the name of our Lord who taught us Amen. to pray. Thank you, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Let's stand together and sing joy. Joy to the world.
children to go to children's church at this time as we sing. Jesus loves the winter children. 